Welcome. This is part two for uh, Math 3 Advanced uh, Section 3.2, Simplifying a Radical Expression. These problems, same as the others, just more practice. Maybe slightly bigger numbers for some of the problems. Okay, again, two sets of practice because this is an important skill. That should communicate that to you. Okay, Radical 343. So I go through the prime numbers. So the prime numbers, 1, uh, 2. Let's try that again. 1, 2, the only even prime number, can't forget that. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, etc. Okay, so I try uh, 2, because 1 never does me any good. I'm not going to try that. Because it'll leave this, and then, where does that get me? Nowhere. I'm in the same spot. So 2 doesn't go in, because it's not even. 3 doesn't go in, because when you add up the digits, 3 plus 4 plus 3 is 10. That's not a multiple of 3, so 3 doesn't go in. And then 5 doesn't go in because it doesn't end in 0 or 5. So we try 7. And 7 goes in 49 times. And 49. I get all tingly inside because 49 is a perfect square. So this is radical 7 times radical 49. 49 is a perfect square. That's actually a rational number when I take the square root. That's 7. So we have plain old 7 times the square root of 7. Final answer. Again, just like the last video, you could use Desmos to check that. And I already forgot the number. Oh, 343. And this was 7 times the square root of 7. And notice both numbers are exactly the same. That verifies it. Those guys are equal to each other. Bam. Problem number 2. Radical 320 ends in 0, so 10 times 32. And 10 is not prime, so radical 2, radical 5. And radical 32 is 42 times, or sorry, 4 times 8. So our factoring goes like this. Now, this guy's a perfect square, so I'm going to leave it alone. These guys are both prime, so all we have to do is factor here. Everybody else just carries forward. And then radical 8 is radical 4 times radical 2, so here's the deal. This guy simplifies to be plain old 2. This guy simplifies to be plain old 2. And these two guys pair up to be plain old 2. So outside the radical, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And the only thing left in the radical is the 5. So it looks to me like the answer is 8 times the square root of 5. Again, Desmos 320. We get 17.8885 something. And this was um, 8 times the square root of 5. 17.885, whatever, 4382, actually. Next problem. The square root of 125 ends in 5. So that's going to be 5 times the square root of 25. 25 is a perfect square. So that's going to be rational. That's going to be plain old 5. And then times the square root of 5. Boom. Final answer. And again, if you want to be checking because you're not sure of yourself, feel free. So this is the square root of 125, which is going to be 11 point something, 11.18033, etc. And this is 5 times the square root of 5. Looks to me like the same number. Bam! We own that problem. And that was the last problem, I believe. Yes. So there you go. These problems are quick and dirty. Until you get good at it, which means you're good at factoring, actually. So, again, that comes out as a basic skill. But until you're good at it, you know, use Desmos or a calculator to check your answers. Okay? So, that's my big advice. Other than that, have a good day. Later.